Hello YouTube, this is Fishy99 here and I would like to talk to you about this new Legendary Collection 3 that's coming out and it looks pretty good thinking that it's been a, a lot, well, a very long time since the Ori Kyonkos just came out. I am going to post a link in the uh, in a description box about this and it's saying that it is $29.95 it comes out October 2nd of this year there are 313 cards in the set they are doing some secret rare reprints like Mirror Force, Solemn Judgment, Seven Tools of the Bandit, Mystical Space Typhoon, Book of Moon Dark Hall and Black Horn of Heaven. They are also doing some reprints of Shining Angel, Mother Grizzly, Flying Katakori Number One, and Pyramid Turtle and Secret Rare. They're also doing some full cards of Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn, Bottomless Trap Hole, Upstart Goblin, Chaos Sorcerer, Drag Down into the Grave, Reckless Greed, and Raigeki Break. They are also going to be reprinting some very well used cards in common like Chain Disappearance, Gold Sarcophagus, Solemn Warning, and Soul Taker. Kind of ironic that they're reprinting Soul Taker with the Silivory Calcus. If you remember from the anime, the, you know, the Silivory Calcus takes the soul of the loser of the duel. But each Legendary Collection 3 Yugi's World contains 52 cards. You get these following ultra rare cards. You get the Seal of Oryankos, the Five Headed Dragon, Dark Necrofear, Guardian Eoctos, and three ultra rare tokens. Two with Karibo, and one with the Emissy of Darkness, Gores and you will also get one collapsible hardback double-sided game board it's on one side it has featuring Yugi the king of games and the other is the seal of Orichalcos in each box of this you get five mega packs each with one secret rare, one ultra rare, one super rare, and one rare, and then five commons. Grand total per box is five secret rares, nine ultra rares, including the seal, three ultra rare tokens, five super rares, five rares, 25 commons, plus the collapsible game board. Now, if this is anything like like this website is stating, it should have the Oricalco's arch type, by the by darts used, which was Oricalco's, Deuteros, and Tritos, and see if they print the other two layers. The seal of Oricalco's is already going to be a broken card, as it's already going to be tournament legal. It is already going to be highly resistant to removal and it powers your monster up 500. Whether or not this tournament legal card can be negated or not is still yet to be confirmed. However, if they do print this card in October, which they will, the Malefics will see a huge rise as this part here will make them broken because the only way to get your malefics out is to have a field spell or something that would negate their effects such as skill drain and another thing that I would like to touch on before I end this video is if they do create the arch type of the Silivory Countess I wonder if they will create the Divine Serpent with a less broken effect as 
mill the top ten cards of your deck to the graveyard, pay all of your remaining life points, and you more or less defy every aspect of the game by not being able to lose. If they printed this card in the exact way of their doing, is the exact way from the anime, the Ori Kalkos would be a very hard to beat deck especially with all the new XC monsters that we've been getting, such as Levier to bring back your banished uh, monsters. Then you've also got Dino Rabbit. You've got Rescue Rabbit just by itself with some normal monsters, and you've got yourself a pretty good deck to start with. I've seen a lot of decks that would possibly use the Silver Yonkos in a very very broken way, such as the Malefics. So, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Just like the video if you did, and I'll see you in the next video.